All right, so I'm at the customers and I've just been pruning up the books of Sempervirens I've got for me to do. But yeah, as you can see, I've trimmed, that's what they look like. And you know, we see little dark patches. If you've got that falling, you want to have a look, get in there and see if you can find any of these like, little green cakey bits of poop and stuff, or even a caterpillar. Can you see it again in my finger? There we go. Oh, see all the webbing around it, all around here. Well, they're an absolute nightmare. If you've got them, they'll decimate your box hedges. There it is. They'll absolutely decimate them. So, if you've got them, I think they have um, three life cycles a year, so you have to spray three times a year to get rid of them. There's no other way. And my customer here has had them for three years now. And as you can see, you know, they make a bit of a mess of your of your books of scent of iron. I mean, that one there. Yeah, we've been trying to save them for the last two or three years. And um, nothing seems to work, really. Even bought little insect trap things for them, for the moths. But um, nothing's ever in there because caterpillars are already in the bush. But yeah, if you don't catch it early enough, it makes a real mess. I think Monty Don actually dug all these up and got rid of them. But uh, yeah, we're in Northampton here. So if you're in the Midlands or, or further south, you want to check your bushes. <laughs> if any further north, it's not too bad. But yeah, just see them in here, look. See at the end of my finger. So yeah, I'm going to go through, there's about 20, 30 box bushes here, so I've got to get a move on, get trimming. But uh, yeah, just want to give you an update on the warning of these caterpillars what are going around the country eating everything. So yeah, check your box bushes. So that's all the boxes trimmed up for now, best I can. So this is what I'm going to be using to spray ultimate well, Provanto ultimate book killer and it says it does get those caterpillars on here but we've been using this for years and it still hasn't done it so if anyone's got any other techniques if they've come across these caterpillars to get rid of them I'd be much appreciated if you could leave it in the comments please so yeah I mean they're quite badly infested all of these and they have been we thought we'd get on top of it last year well, this year yeah, with the winter being so harsh, but um, yeah, they've just overwintered in here really and uh, come back with a vengeance. So I'll get on to spraying them. And look, you can see the poop there into my finger. I wait for it to see them in. So yeah, in fact, there's a little larvae, isn't it? I'm going to spray them now and I'll show you what else I've got to do in a minute. So these are the next balls I've got to do. Little sort of pyramid things, double balls. Now this one here looks particularly badly hit by those caterpillars. And uh, you can just see all the webbing in there. Look, there's a caterpillar there, look. Can you see it? See it uh, right at the end of my finger, there, black and green. So, yeah, they're quite hard to see, but you obviously can know they're there because of the devastation that they cause. But you can smell them, you can see the webbing, or like there's like a spider in there. But, uh, yeah, once you've got them, they're nightmare to get rid of so I'll just show you what I've got to do I've got to do all these and then around here it's a beautiful garden this one I've got to do these balls here as well around here and these have been particularly I know, there's a caterpillar just at the end of my finger there spotted straight away yeah Poorly bushes, I'm going to try and get them better though. 